Good day, my name is Dr. Ho Shuven. I'm the consultant of ophthalmologist and ocular plastic surgeon in KMC Medical Center in Ipoh. Today, I would like to talk about adult ptosis or QPI in adult. Clinically, ptosis is defined as the distance between the upper eyelid margin and the light reflex of less than 2 mm, as you can clearly see in this example. In this eye, the eye has dropped down that you cannot even see the light reflex. So the ptosis is more serious in this eye compared to this eye. In aponeurotic type of ptosis, in which the muscle attached to the tarsus had detached, you can see the increase in the eyelid crease, which is more in this side. And because the eyelids have dropped down, the brow is elevated and there is also have some wrinkles associated with it. This commonly happens in people when they get older because the muscle no longer attached to the tarsus. In addition, they also have excess skin, what we call the dermatoclasis, which makes the person uh, cannot see well. However, this condition can also happen in young person, like for example, in this patient, the light with this reflect distance is less here compared to this side. There's also increase in increase with elevation of the brow, and that is usually because of contact lens wear or frequent rubbing of the eye. Uh, you can see in this schematic picture of the eyelid, the pink and the red is a muscle which attach the upper eyelid to the tarsus. And if that has become weakened or it become loosened, then the eyelid will drop down. And as mentioned earlier, most of the time it is aponeuritosis and it's because of the aging. And that can also be because of contact lens wear and rubbing in a young person. There are other causes of ptosis, such as because of the nerve to supply the muscle is not working. For example, in Horner syndrome. Horner syndrome can be caused by tumor in the brain or in the upper part of the lung. Or sometimes it can be caused by carotid dissection during the trauma. This field condition is urgent and it needs urgent medical attention. The other condition which can cause ptosis is myasthenia gravis in which the muscle become weakened. And of course, if people have congenital ptosis, when they are young is not treated, it will persist until the adulthood. This patient presents with 3 week history of the GP left eye. And when I perform an eye test, the eyelids are back to normal. And he has the myasthenia gravis. And therefore, I refer him to the medical physician to have a uh, further testing and medications. What is the consequences of ptosis? It can cause reduced vision. Our patients complain to me that they are not able to read because the eyelid had dropped down that they are not able to read. Some of my patients have fall because they are not able to see well. And I even have patients mention to me when they are driving, they have to manually lift the eyelid up because the eyelid has dropped down. It makes them are very dangerous on the route and also to other route users. In addition, droopy eyelids can also cause asymmetry in the appearances, especially if it happens in one eye. In addition, it can also the patient with droopy eyelids can also perceive as sleepy or they are not interested. This definitely impairs the social interaction and communication. The treatment of this surgery thankfully can be successfully treated with surgery in most of the time except for the myasthenia gravis and other conditions that I mentioned earlier. And in general, this droopy eye surgery can be divided into two types. The first type is anterior, means that we take a skin cut here, take off the excess skin if necessary, bite the muscle, tighten it, and afterwards, in the end of the day, you will left your scar with the stitches which will remove about one week later. Don't worry about this scar here, this one will form a double eyelid. And by this patient here, the anterior approach surgery, and you can see after the surgery, his eye is much more bigger and wider, and he can see better. This is very important because he is actually a bus driver. Some people may say, Oh well, I'm too old, I'm already in my 70s, you know, it doesn't really matter. For this lady, she's in 83, and then she finds she's not able to watch the TV, she's not able to read the books, and she sometimes she cannot even see the step properly. So the droopy eyelids actually make 
make it to be quite and safe for her to be mobilized at home. She also had other concerns. She had a heart condition, so she wondered whether she should have a surgery. But thankfully, the surgery was performed successfully under lower anesthesia in a daycare setting, which means she can go home the same day. And here you can see the eye is wide open. She can enjoy her life and she is able to safely to mobilize at home. Another type of surgery is called the posit approach. In which most of the surgery are performed behind the eyelid, so there are minimal scar in front. This is actually this surgery is actually more popularly uh, perceived received by the young people because the downtime is less. Take this patient for example, in less than one week, or according to him, in a few days, his eyelid is back normal. There is hardly any swelling. Of course, this sort of result varies between individuals. And this is this lady who also had posterior approach and you can see the results are quite natural and she recovered quite quickly. Recently, I also noted that the droopy eye can also sometimes associate with the droopy brow. The droopy brow can appear to be perceived as angry or sad. Take this patient for example. Her colleagues always say that why are you looking so sad but actually she's quite a pleasant person. After a combined tosi surgery together with brownies, you can see that she looks much more cheerful and approachable. Similar, these ladies were perceived as looking very tired all the time. But actually she's not. After the combined procedure, he looked much more refreshed, much more alert and much more engaging. And people said that she became much more popular after the combined tosis and the brownies surgery. As, as you can see that the toxic surgery improved the vision, make the patient safe, make other root users safe, and it also improved the appearance. It also improved other people's perception of you. And it's very important that the assessment and the management of the toxic should be done by a qualified ocular plastic surgeon. This is not a cosmetic uh, cosmetic condition as people think. There are causes which cause ptosis, for example, the brain tumour and the lung tumour. And you, I'm pretty sure that none of the people want that to be missed. In addition, ptosis surgery can have complications, which hopefully will be minimised in a trained hand. So in summary, ptosis is a medical condition. Its assessment and management should be done by a qualified ocular plastic surgeon. It can, uh, the ptosis can be corrected successfully by ptosis surgery and uh, it will improve the vision, improve the appearance, also improve other people's perception of you. So I hope you find the video useful and if you'd like to know more about uh, other eye conditions, please subscribe to our YouTube and the Facebook channel. Thank you very much.